So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Luca Bertamini. I come from uh, Erasmus MC in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. And I'm here at EHA 2025 to uh, talk about uh, circulating tumor cells for the stratification of uh, myeloma. And what we are presenting here at this conference is really uh, an important work. It's the first results of a large uh, collaboration between a lot of uh, centers across Europe, uh, more than five national groups, trying to put together data from patients at diagnosis with myeloma. And we have been, uh, been able to collect data from more than 2,500 patients to really study this specific biomarker that we have been studying already in the last year in many different groups separately. And this biomarker is called uh, circulating tumor cells. So what are circulating tumor cells? So myeloma cells are generally in the bones, as we know that, but sometimes, or actually quite often, they go out and we can find them in the peripheral blood of patients. So. What we, uh, many different groups, as I mentioned, uh, showed already is that patients that have these circulating cells uh, have a worse prognosis, meaning that they tend to progress earlier during their uh, disease history. And what was not clear is that what defines really patients that have a lot of these uh, circulating cells. And can we really stratify patients using this biomarker, including other biomarkers? And this is applicable to all category of patients, young, elderly, patients that are eligible or not eligible to transplant, patients that are treated in, in a cl in clinical trial or in a real world practice. So we really try to answer these questions and address this question with really a large set of data. And um, our main results and findings are really promising. So uh, we noticed that uh, having a more uh, increasing levels of circulating tumor cells really is associated to a, a worse prognosis. And uh, this is independent of other risk factors that we test, like cytogenetic risk by fish or uh, international staging system, LDH levels. But also, this is true for a lot of categories of patients, the one I mentioned before. So for patients that are both eligible to transplant and young, but also patients that are frail and elderly. And uh, this is really important because this shows us this biomarker is really important for the uh, total population of our patients. And then what we did next is we tried to identify an optimal threshold to identify patients that are really at high risk. And we uh, suggest actually two thresholds, one for, uh, let's say, uh, intermediate high risk, which is 0.02% uh, of these cells, and one really for patients that have a really ultra high risk. So uh, really with a poor prognosis, which is around 2%, similar to what we call also plasma cell leukemia. And uh, this is really important because we really want to uh, certify patients the best because the next step would be, of course, to try to tailor better treatment. Some patients probably deserve more treatment than others. And I think we think that uh, a risk adapted treatment is really the key for the future of myeloma. So how can we know if we have circulating tumor cells in the blood? How can a patient know if a diagnosis they have or don't have, or if they have a lot of this biomarker? So it's something very simple. It can be tested with a simple blood draw and uh, can be tested in a really a lot of labs because it doesn't require a very advanced technology, it's just simple flow cytometry, which is the test that your doctor asks for uh, when it does the bone marrow aspirate to confirm your diagnosis and also to test for minimal residual disease negativity after therapy. So it's really something very simple to implement in a clinical practice in, in the future. We already have guidelines on how to test MRD and this can be really applied the same way just on a different type of sample instead of the bone marrow on the peripheral blood because the cells really look very similar. They have a similar phenotype. So it's really simple and can be really in the future be applied uh, worldwide.